Hi, coders. Did you manage to park your robot? Let's have a look at one way in which you could have solved the challenge using a single optical distance sensor. We'll use the optical distance sensor on the right to check whether it is over the white line or on the blue floor. We want the sensor to always be to the right of the white line. When it is over the white line, it should steer to the right so that the sensor remains to the right of the line. When it is over the blue floor, it should drive straight. In this way, the robot will drive straight while the line is straight, and it will shuffle along the curved line where the line curves. Let's begin by driving the robot at 70% power and 20% steering to see the optical distance sensor values over the three floor colors. Over blue, it is around 130. Over white, it is around 200. And over orange, it is around 170. Let's take the average of the orange and white values and define that as our threshold value. If the sensor value is above the threshold, the sensor is most likely over the white line, and we will want to correct its position by steering the robot to the right. If the sensor value is below the threshold, the sensor is most likely either over the blue floor or the orange parking bay. Either way, we will want the robot to drive straight. Let's write that part of the program using an if statement block. We'll set the condition as if the intensity detected is above the threshold, meaning that the sensor is over the white line. We'll set the action to drive the robot at 50% power with steering set at 50%, steering right. When the robot is not on the white line, we want it to drive straight. Let's drive it at 50% power. Let's test that. We'll put the program in a while true loop to continuously check the conditions. Great, the program works. You might find a need to tweak your steering and power values to achieve better results. This is necessary even with real robots. Notice that the front optical distance sensor has a value of zero when it isn't detecting anything, and only detects the wall when it is just in front of it. We can use this information to stop the robot before it hits the wall. Let's change the condition of the while loop to while the front optical distance sensor has a value below one. That way, the program will only run and the robot will only drive while the front optical distance sensor does not detect the wall. As soon as it detects the wall when it approaches it, the robot will stop. Let's test our whole program.
Great! That's it! Here's another challenge. Can you get the robot to park in the same way, but this time using both optical distance sensors that face the ground together? Good luck with the next challenge!